how then do we manage to, to boost our exports if the local production, which majorly depends on the loans that we get from the commercial banks, and those loans now you see the way the rates are so high. So therefore we are indirectly or directly killing the production in our country. And, and now what we are talking about, the exports that we want to bank on, we can't achieve it because of the high rates, the central bank rates. And you're saying that we let the market just determine the rates. I think, I think uh, it's true. Uh, monetary policy has been tightened and it has been tight, tightened to respond to the circumstances that we were in. Inflation was high. And it was high for external reasons, which we have explained, the Ukraine war and the Russia war, which led to increase in commodity prices. And every central bank around the world, it's not just us, including the U.S., have had to tighten their monetary policy. And the interest rate regime is quite high, even in the U.S. and others. Our own central bank had to tighten monetary policy also because of high inflation. So we have now contained inflation. It's now 6.3. In the, it's coming down, the rains are good, so at least things are going to be better. And with the stability that we see in the share rate, and, and we see not, that central bank is not likely to stay in that for a while. I think it's more monetary policy, which is independent, will review the information available and will make adjustments as and when necessary. So uh, when I was speaking about exchange rate, uh, competitive exchange rate, which is different from interest rate. Yes, and I, I thought we, are, we have understood me on that front. The, there's a problem with the... Why don't you think that uh, if, we, if we stop defending the exchange rate, we stop, we stop actually defending it and we just let it just flow to, to an extent where the dollar even hits 250 shillings. Then in such a situation, two things will happen. Number one thing that will happen is that our debt will balloon. Just listen, uh, Mweshimiwa, this is serious economics. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and you'll get to know about it here. Now, if we leave it, then one of the impacts is that our debt will seriously balloon, and therefore we can decide and say that we will not pay the debts. There's nothing that they can do. And number two, if, if we are not paying the debts, and the exchange rate is high, which means that the imported goods, we will discourage consumption of imported goods. And therefore, we will treat the foreign absorption or the absorption, the imports, the absorption from the imports. We will discourage it and, and we will encourage domestic production because the moment we stop consuming the imports, we will now be encouraging consumption of domestically produced goods and that will make us grow that is the only thing that will make us grow as a nation shimiwa do you understand yes. <laughs>